It is the nightmare scenario for Matthew Hedges and those close to him. The British academic was accused of spying in the United Arab Emirates. Today, he was sentenced to life in prison. It was a verdict that was immediately condemned by the Prime Minister. We are, of course, as he is, deeply disappointed and concerned at today's verdict. And I realise how difficult and distressing this is, both for Matthew Hedges, but for also for his family. Uh, we are raising it with the Emirati authorities at the highest level. My right honourable friend, the Foreign Secretary, is urgently seeking a call with the Foreign Minister. Matthew Hedges was detained by the authorities at Dubai Airport in early May on suspicion of spying for MI6. He said he'd been conducting research. Last month, his wife told me the effect solitary confinement had had on his physical and mental health. He was very insecure. He was shaking. He was looking at the ground. He, he barely uh, spoke to me with any confidence. And he was clearly broken. Following today's sentencing, she said... I am in complete shock and I don't know what to do. Matthew is innocent. The Foreign Office know this and have made it clear to the UAE authorities that Matthew is not a spy for them. This whole case has been handled appallingly from the very beginning, with no one taking Matthew's case seriously. The British government must take a stand now for Matthew, one of their citizens. Mr Hedges now has the right to appeal. A friend and fellow academic of his said it is their final chance to bring him home. There are 30 days in which an appeal can be uh, um, can be presented, uh, and uh, of course, I mean that's where that's the most important uh, um, focus, uh, and the fact that there is still uh, a glimmer of hope uh, that the verdict could be overturned. Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt was in the UAE just over a week ago, where he raised this case. But those warm handshakes have been replaced by warnings. He's called today's sentencing extremely worrying and promised what he's called serious diplomatic consequences. Julian Drucker, Five News.